Prince Nassim lands in the United States. And when he landed, who was there to meet him? Kevin Kelly. And they've been talking all week. Tough acts to follow. Remember, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. May the best man win. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this. They reluctantly touch gloves for referee Benji Estevez from New Jersey. We see both men without their robes. How about Ali? Some say he's not in shape. What do you think? I think the man is in shape, but he's a little flabby. The thing remains to be seen if he's weak or not. Ali was way overweight a few weeks ago, a few days ago, whatever, and they seem to have fasted to lose the weight very quickly. And at times, this has a tendency to weaken you. And so in later rounds or in other rounds, we will soon see. Taunting Ernie Shavers. It's almost difficult to take Ali seriously, isn't it? Or is it? No, it isn't, because you know when you get out there in the middle of the ring, once the bell rings to start the fight, and he's out to take care of you, and you have to be in, you know, in shape. You have to be in the frame of mind to also be out to take care of him. Ali continuing to stare down Shavers. Shavers uh, seems to accept it all very well. He's uh, almost obliterated what Ali is doing until the bell rings, and then he'll see what happens. That's true. I think Shavers said he's, uh, this is one chance in a lifetime to make it, a chance for him to make a lot of things for his family, to get a lot of things for his wife, and uh, I'm sure he, he knows what he has to do, and he's ready. in the ring were having trouble getting Michael Buffer's attention. And Jones decides to dance with Richard Hall. Richard, Roy, the boxing for the undisputed light heavyweight championship of the world. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands, come out boxing at the bell. Good luck, 12 rounds. So the two come okay, to mid range with Richard Steele. The instructions in the dress room. I'm just cautioning you now. Obey my command at all times. Shake hands and go like the both play. Let's go. Very simple instructions. And finally, it's Hagler against Hearns. Told by someone today. And we're here's seeing, the game right here, Larry. Yeah, we're seeing uh, a junior middleweight face-off here. It's an in-your-face face-off. <laughs> well, I don't know who's going to win this one. This one is a draw. Yeah, the crowd loves this. I would laugh. You see, that's, that's why I'm not there. Kenny's scoring, and of course his comments interspersed during the course of the fight. The referee then, Charlie Roth, age 50, refereed around the Cincinnati and Pittsburgh area for a long number of years. Just look at this. You know, he started gaining respect. Wilfred Benitez, as he is trying to psych out Sugar Ray Leonard. He failed to appear at the weigh-in. Dundee had his fighter go ahead with the weigh-in. Benitez was weighed in later. This is a wild scene. Look at it. I gave instructions in the dressing room. Do you have any questions? I got a question. You got any excuses tonight, Roy? Let's not ask questions like that. Let's touch gloves and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work. All right, gentlemen, we've already gone through the instruction in the dressing room one time. 
This is the Nevada State rules only. Any quit, protect yourself at all times. I expect a tough, clean fight. Any questions from McNeely's corner? Any questions from Mr. Tyson's corner? Let's get it on! Frazier has been out in the center. His foreman now, he'll join Frazier out there. The referee's instructions. This contest for the heavyweight championship of the world will be governed by the rules of the Jamaican Boxing Board of Control. We expect you to obey these rules, and I will be here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. The three knockdown rule has been waived. Break when I tell you to break. Shake hands now, come out boxing. Good luck to both of you.